leadership after controversy at VMI. The military school's first ever chief diversity officer is hoping to make it a more inclusive place. 10 News reporter Annie Schroeder went on post for the new leader's first interview to discuss what she hopes to achieve. Virginia Military Institute's first ever chief diversity officer has a clear vision. If you're going to change a culture, and when I say change, it just means make it better. It doesn't mean changing the great foundation VMI has. She comes in after an unprecedented year following the resignation of its former superintendent, a month-long investigation into its procedures, and reports of racism and sexism on VMI's post. Institutional cultural change takes time, right? So I don't expect the bones and the foundation of VMI to ever change. And her new role, Love wants to aim to make the state's oldest military school a place where everyone can feel welcome. I get to be the first to put my stamp on it, to put my perspective and breathe life into that vision. Love says she's looking forward to establishing more programs surrounding diversity and inclusion for cadets and staff members. And I want to make sure that they know that this is a place that is supporting them, supporting their identity. While Love knows change won't happen overnight, changing the culture at VMI will not be a small task. She feels her presence will make the school a place where cadets can be themselves and grow for decades to come. This is a critical time in the institution's history to be here uh, with the uh, Major General Wins taking the helm. I'm really happy to work with uh, him and work with this team to make sure that VMI just gets better. One core. One VMI. In Lexington, Annie Schroeder, 10 News, working for you.